Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So let's take a look at one of the most epic war me and my clan mates actually just uh, went through with SG Gladiators. So the first attack I'd like to show you guys is done by my the opponent itself. The opponent he decided to use uh, some golems and then in fact he's probably gonna use uh, some lava hounds as he has three lava hounds in his army with a level 40 king and queen in his hand dropping a lightning spell to take out some of the troops first and then in the end the jump spell has already been placed in such a way that the king and queen has gone in to take out my uh, clan mates prof Nels, uh king and then also now going ahead for the queen to take out the air defense now going ahead with the air attack pretty soon without the heroes even uh, being uh, used up and then now the queen has just gone down with the lava hound just uh, tanking the damage off the air defenses and the balloons just following from the back so just to uh, speed things up this is definitely going to be a 3 star rate as just the remaining defenses left are only the one cannon alone which has just uh, gone down so just speed things up uh, 4 times the speed of the rate so yeah this base is uh, wiped out by the number one attacker of their whole clan so pretty nicely done by uh, him. So I think it was Chinese clan. So this Chinese clan, uh, they were very very strong. They had like a lot of war wins. So in the end, proving that they are indeed a very strong clan. So going ahead to attack the number 16 of my clan mate. And then uh, the first attacker again, he's uh, using his archer queen together with the golems following by some war breakers and some wizards. And then uh, now you can see the queen is just taking out the first air defense following up by the barbarian king clan house castle has already came up and then dropping a lightning spell to take them all out after that now as you can see the inferno is just uh, locked on to some of the golems and also the queen and then in fact now the queen has already gone down we've also the uh, one of the inferno has already gone down so now dropping his air troops the first uh, lava hound has already gone down the third one on the left side and then eventually the balloons have all just came in to clear out the remaining uh, defenses so uh, deploying his uh, troops and also his uh, spells really nicely the free spell plays really nicely to freeze up the inferno before they could do more damage to the balloons and then now just left with the wizard tower itself um, but as you can see the balloons they nearly got uh, taken out by the wizard tower so just left with the lava pups lava pups going ahead to clear out the whole entire base this uh, raid actually lasted for 2 minutes and 59 seconds so technically he was like just 1 or 2 seconds away before the raid would end and then he won't be able to get the 1 star so he was uh, really a nail biting uh, 3 star for these guys but still it's a really nice job done for him so now going ahead to watch our first 3 stars done by Chris Chris actually he is the, my superior in the military last time when I was still in the military serving, serving the nation he was one of my superiors so he was a very nice superior and then he decided to uh, play clash together with me and at the same time he's also a very strong attacker so as you can see having just a level 25 barbarian king and also 22 archer queen he's managed able to uh, take out this base uh, doing a 3 stars and also the pekka uh, following behind they are really strong so just carrying on the attack as you can see the clan castle has came out usually he forgets to drop his clan castle whenever I watch his attack I always uh, tell, tell myself why didn't he drop the clan castle earlier I mean he could have dropped the clan castle earlier and the witches would probably have uh, gone together behind the troops uh, together into the core itself but uh, yeah I mean this is his strategy of attacking so uh, if he's very uh, efficient managed to do a 3 star then it still gets the job done so it's pretty nice and also usually he <laughs> likes to bring some uh, pretty funny troops sometimes even bringing some goblins uh, archers or even um, like as you can see a lot of barbarians over there but it still gets the job done so I still um, appreciate what he's doing uh, getting the 3 stars for our clan so really good job to him uh, Chris uh, in fact uh, he's uh, very nice and uh, superior in the army last time I really appreciate him and all the time that he has actually spent together with me so let's go ahead to watch the next 3 stars done on this Town Hall 9 done by the Punisher who actually got 3 stars by the number 1 uh, attacker of the opponent's clan so without um, being too like affected by that raid, he decided to go and do a 3 stars on his own. So going ahead, uh, doing the same uh, strategy as what the number 1 player had done to him, using the golems first and then after that following by the king and queen to take out the air defense. After that just continuing on with the raid. So as you can see, he has prepared 3 lava hounds and also 20 balloons to be ready to take on the whole entire base. So dropping his both rage spell at a very nice position, uh, raging up the balloons together with the lava hounds. Lava hounds flying towards the last air defense over there on the left side. The last uh, few defenses has already been taken out. So as you can see, the balloons are just flying around with just that last wizard tower uh, trying to be um, <laughs> taken out by the balloons. So just left with the whole entire cleanup of the base, the balloons just flying around. In fact, just one more lava hound on the left side, not even uh, being uh, exploded into the uh, lava pups. So 
he managed to retain and keep one lava hound which was really nice so doing a really nice three stars so the third three stars that i'd like to show you guys was done by petalizer he basically uh, attacked from the bottom right um using hawks 27 hawks it's a long time since i see some hawks uh, in action because of the giant bomb after they have uh, been increased uh, damage onto the hawks a lot of people stop using hawks and also especially when they are the traps the skeleton traps when they come out they really do a lot of damage to the hawks especially just running around doing a little bit damage here and there to the hawks hawks eventually they will be able to do, get taken out by the wizard towers and the giant bombs but unf unfortunately with uh, such a precision uh, pet he managed to do a three star dropping a heal spells uh, precisely and then eventually just uh, clearing out all the defenses with just the axe bow in the middle being taken out by that one lone uh, hawk rider so eventually once the uh, axe bow has gone down the hawks just spread around to clear the whole entire base so just to speed things up basically it's just a mass clean up by the hawks and also the archer queen full blood archer queen not even being damaged and also the golem is still fully intact haven't even exploded yet so just uh, clearing up the whole base three stars done by pets really really awesome so yeah the next attack was done on this town hall 10 by doc chen uh, in fact this uh, account was played by me i uh, played this account uh, using a doc chen's account uh, because i usually uh, maintain his account so what happens is uh, he's actually studying for examination he's trying to uh, get another scholarship or whatsoever so he didn't want to take clash into his uh, part of life so definitely i'm just trying to help him to maintain his account doing a little bit of farming here and then of course uh, playing war for him so level 40 heroes they are definitely very strong and of course uh, using my six golem strategy is a new strategy that i'm trying to use and uh, trying to learn trying to even master because uh, this strategy is very strong that's one because of the six golems however if the the wizards get taken out really quickly then uh, there might be a problem in the whole entire rate because uh, your firepower may not be enough to take out the whole entire base just relying on the heroes itself won't be enough definitely to take out the whole entire uh, base however with like six golems once it's just explode there will be like another 12 more additional golemites to tank the whole entire uh, uh, raid itself so the next attack was done by Daryl. Daryl doing a 3 stars on this Town Hall 10. So going ahead with the 2 golems on the right side first, eventually dropping the Archer Queen. So this is definitely going to be another air attack as you can see on the bottom. Having a 19 balloons and 2 lava hounds ready, I'm pretty sure in the clan castle will be also another uh, lava hound. So dropping a lightning spell to take out the whole entire mass of troops and also the witch. However, I don't think the witch went down and then eventually the Barbarian King had to take it out. And also going down at the same time so too so now the archer queen is left alone trying to take out the rest of the other defenses first before she goes down so another infernal tower has gone down also the two air defenses has gone down so left two air defenses and one infernal tower and uh, definitely with uh, just three wizard towers is not going to be too difficult so deploying the balloons in a very specific manner and so also the spells freezing up the infernal tower before they do more damage to the balloons and also to save the hp of the pups so the way to do this kind of strategy what i can see is to freeze up the infernal before your lava hound explodes so that the, the lava pups do not get taken out by the inferno itself especially if it's multi uh, targeting inferno towers if it's single inferno towers maybe when uh, it's already targeted onto your lava hound you have to freeze it up before it actually reaches the maximum damage of like a thousand over damage so yeah this is a very nice three stars done by daryl and of course last but not least i'd like to show you guys this awesome three stars done by me again using doc Chen's account so as you can see the timer was at two minutes and fifty nine seconds when it started off so using my six golem strategy again just to speed things up and then uh, eventually my king and queen going in uh, dropping a rage spell with a jump spell and then a clan castle came out decided to freeze it up dropping a lightning spell to take out the witch first so at the same time we will just slow things down a bit uh, because it's pretty fast and then eventually as you can see on the right side the golems they are all like whacking against the wall they are not like going in so i didn't have enough uh, tanking troops to go in uh, just left with only one golem on the inside and the two heroes inside hopefully they don't get too much damage by the archer queen over there and also the infernal tower so as you can see on the left side now we focus on the left side the wizards they in uh, doing a really good job because they are all the way in front of the golem golem just whacking against the wall now they are being taken out by the cannon and also the archer tower and the wizard um, tower has just gone down which is really nice and we just focus back onto the king and queen the queen is now <laughs> being uh, damaged by the giant bomb giant bomb uh, made her hp go down so much until it's like less than half right now so now as you can see the king he's already been raged up barbarians has all appeared to do more damage and then eventually now my queen is being attacked by the wizard tower the hp has gone down so much to the extent whereby i had to use her cloak ability right now when the tesla actually hit her so eventually i was left with so many golems in this in this problem whereby 
I do not have enough wizard, do not have enough firing power to go ahead to do the uh, damage. So eventually, the Tesla, I thought it targeted my Archer Queen. Unfortunately for me, the good luck that it actually targeted the Golem. So now we focus on the King and Queen. The King is really a hit rate of uh, blood going down soon with the damage of the Tesla. So I was thinking, oh no, if the Queen were to go ahead and... Okay, wait, she didn't go for the Tesla. Hmm. So yeah, she didn't go for the Tesla, which was a good thing. So eventually she went up. So I thought she would actually go for the Tesla. However, she didn't go for it. So I was really lucky if she had gone for the Tesla without the golems in front of her tanking the damage. I'm very sure she would have been taken out by the Tesla itself because the Tesla will be able to do a lot of damage to her. But uh, eventually she managed to break through the wall and then uh, going ahead to, to speed things up a bit because the golems is just left with only two defensive structure, the cannon over there and also the Tesla which is all the way at the bottom right. So left with only two more structures. So how is this going to end? So let's take a look just to speed things a little bit slower. The queen is going in, taking a few shots from the Tesla and then eventually taking the Tesla out. So now the queen is at red blood and then taking a one last shot with the bombs over there. And then she didn't go down. That was totally insane when I saw this uh, attack. After I did this attack, I was like, oh my god, this is impossible that this actually happened. So yeah, I was totally uh, mind-boggled by this. So yeah, this is a 3-star. I think this is the closest 3-stars that I've ever done in my whole entire of Clash history. But nevertheless, 3-stars uh, was done. So yeah, after doing all those 3-stars and we getting 3 star, in the end, the score was uh, 56, 58. So we lost the war. Unfortunately, it was a very good fight and I didn't uh, do my attacks because I wouldn't be able to do any one star because all the Town Hall Knights, they were very strong. Having only level 3 Barbarians and Archers on my this Brandon 3 account, it definitely wouldn't make sense for me to even attack one of them. So yeah, that's it for this uh, war update with uh, SG Gladiators. Hope you guys had enjoyed the 3 star attacks by my clan mates and also 2 of them from the opponent's uh, clan attacks. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.